Well, hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Uh, it's Baldy Chris, and uh, this is now going to be um, beam number five, or episode number five of The Witness Beam by Beam. Um, this is where the last episode ended, um, in the bunker, having just fired off the laser. So I just need to get back out of the, the lift here, which I think just requires a wrong solution. Might be wrong. <laughs> it would appear I am should be a way to get out of here. I'm going to step out at the top floor. So yeah, I decided the next area I was going to tackle would be the logging area. Uh, it's just a question of trying to find that. <laughs> in the first instance. I'm going to walk down by the coast actually because there's something I've talked about in the previous episodes that I haven't managed to actually unlock yet and that was the boat and finally I'm actually seeing the, the boat's original jetty. Obviously it's not a very tricky puzzle and it draws the shape of a boat um, which is a little bit of a, a hint as to what it might do. So, yeah, it draws open at a boat and shows you a map of the island. And it doesn't actually show you precisely where we are at the moment, I don't think. Or have I got it wrong? But you, you can choose to use the boat to take you to a different area. So, the area I want to head to is about there. And. I'm sort of struggling to recognise approximately where we are at the moment. However, I'm not going to do the travel in the boat. Or am I? Am I? Maybe I will, actually. Let's uh, let's try that. So let's... Well, in fact, it, it does show precisely where we are because in common with all the puzzles in the game, there's a circle showing the start point. So let's take the boat round to where I want to go, which is there. And there's a speed indicator at the side of it as well. I'll set that to maximum just to try and make the journey as quick as possible. There's various reasons for using the boat. Um, some of them are very spoilerific. I will try to avoid uh, any of those, but there are reasons to use the boat um, that, that do involve spoilers and I'm trying my damnedest not to give them away because I really want that surprise to be intact for people who come to play the game themselves. Um, I'm only focusing on trying to solve the, the puzzles in this series, which I have done previously, um, but it's been quite a few months and I don't necessarily remember how to go about doing them. So we're just passing through one of the, the stops but literally passing through and then there is another stop which must be close by actually I think maybe we're gonna skirt inside it I'm not 100% sure but there is an area of the game that is actually only accessible by boat in the first instance I think it might be that landing dock over there Yes, it must be, but then there's this treehouse area up there, which is only accessible through uh, a little bridge that's formed up there. So, but that will be in a future episode. Uh, so this is the, the shipwreck area. We can go round this. I think we're actually going to be going through it, the, the route that I picked. Absolutely steaming our way through it. We did see that area earlier, that was the keep, we solved that in a previous episode. I think we must be near to our destination now, that, I think that was what the, the bell noise signified, was that we are getting to where we wanted to be. Not actually 100% sure I've picked the uh, 
the, 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 the correct stuff, I might not actually be able to get out of this next area. We'll soon see. Strictly speaking, this stop is actually the quarry area. Is it not going to let me off the boat? Or do I have to set the... Um, that's annoying, I must have to set the dock from a different direction. So unfortunately, I'm going to get a little bit more of a boat trip on this one. So apologies for that. Again, we'll set the speed to high. I can actually find the, the docking point. Not there. There we are. Right, okay. That wasn't absolutely ideal. So, bye bye quarry area and there. Those trees there, that was the logging area, that was that was where I actually wanted to get to. We're skirting round the, the desert ruins now, which is a, an area I found quite tough, I'll be honest, and it's also quite a long area as well, so I'm going to sort of save that for another occasion. Might even... Oh, we've got some viewers, hello viewers. At the minute, I'm trying to get to the logging area and I've uh, <laughs> taken the opportunity to unlock the boat and which is almost certainly the longest way I could have taken to actually arrive at the logging area since I'm having to skirt around the entirety of the outside of the island but um, so as the people watching have, have you played the witness before and um, as the banner at the bottom of the screen says um, please don't do any spoilers for anyone else watching um, I am focusing just on the puzzle panels for this game I, I realise there is quite a lot more to it than that. I have completed the game uh, previously myself, got the Platinum Trophy on PlayStation. Um, but I'm just playing it again on a, a clean account after about uh, about six month break. So like, obviously there's a section I've done there with all the lit up power lines. Um, but while I have done it, I don't necessarily remember the ins and outs of all the puzzles. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm hoping the, the logging area is not going to be too bad because it shouldn't have anything terribly complicated in it. At least not inherently complicated. Is it going to let me off the boat this time? Well, maybe I could have got off the boat last time. Anyway, there we go. We've, we've arrived at our destination. I'm just going to skip through that area as fast as possible. Like I say, obviously completed it in a previous episode, so bear with me while I get to the logging area, which is the intended start point for this episode. What's the best way to get there? Can't go completely through the orchard, so I can't go straight through a tree. So I guess we'll head through the town initially. The town is probably going to be the last episode that I come to simply because there's all sorts of puzzle types there that draws from every other area on the island. Uh, so it makes sense to leave that one till last after we've actually encountered the different puzzle types properly. We've got the lake area down there. That's the other side of the lake that I want to be. Can't actually cross there, I don't think. Let's use the bridge, that seems like a much more sensible idea. Okay, so there's the keep area, which uh, I did in an earlier episode as well. So now we're actually into the forest area. some puzzle panels. Just need to find the active one. And I'll be honest, I can't 100% remember where that is. Obviously
obviously a very easy puzzle there just to open up the area. Okay, so we've opened up the door. So here we are actually in the, the logging area itself, which is where I was hoping to get to previously. And there was the uh, the boat dock down there that we couldn't actually get out at anyway. So this bit is sort of similar to the monastery, which is an episode I, I did a little earlier on today. Um, I'll back up to two viewers again. Hello, viewers. Um, do, do say hello. Um, I, I promise not to bite. And... Hopefully that should be the trick. Yep. So in keeping with the, the theme in the monastery area, the path through the grid is shown by the environment. So in this case, it's shadows rather than sort of looking through trees and shutters and stuff like we did earlier. So it's lit up the, the power cable to the next one. Um, and I've got my own shadow in the way there, which is a little unhelpful. So let's hope I'm remembering the, the shape right. It was jolly good. And this one, now that's distinctly unhelpful. Obviously the start point is right there. But where the hell do you go from there? And, you know, what's going on? So, shadow's not very helpful there. So what do we do if a shadow's not helpful? Is we would try to change it. So that door I opened earlier has closed behind us. So if I open that again and leg it down to the puzzle panel as best I can, got to go round that bloody tree. Now we can actually see what we're doing. And I don't think that door is going to stay open forever, so I'm trying to be as quick as possible about it. There we are. We don't get long, but that was long enough. So that's done something. That's now opened up the, the pathway down into the, the quarry area, uh, which is good. Um, I'm just going to head over to the boat dock to see if it, I had done something silly. Or, yeah, with this gangplank being up, it looks like in order to be able to get off here, you do first of all need to actually call the boat to it. I don't actually want to get on the boat, but let's get that unlocked for potential shortcuts in the future and head back up to the, uh, the the panels in the logging area where are we following the power cables okay now this is annoying we've got the, the added joy of the the roof of the structure getting in the way as well so we're gonna have to try and ignore all the uh the regular lines that are there and just try and focus on avoiding the tree branches which looks like that does the trick it does that that was somewhat easier than expected actually now it may not be the case for much longer unfortunately so what have we got shining down on us here we've got some horizontal lines in the uh, the roof structure as well that's definitely not helping so you can see the start point at least it's, that's not ambiguous now from the look of things that's avoiding branches that's the roof beam getting in the way that's a branch can't go that way so must must be down there or is it maybe it's not maybe we're going straight down there in the first place yes I think that must be it and then looping over the the branches like I say quite difficult to filter out the the additional shadow that's been put in by the the construction of this building since the the tree was actually first put in place and have we got yet more of the same it does look like it doesn't it Jonathan Blow, game designer, you are an absolute evil genius and I admire you and hate you in equal measures. So, staying away from the tree shadow, looks like that's, that's all good. Does 
Does that work? It does. Excellent. And... Yeah, again, a bit of trying to filter out the, uh, the surrounds. Which I think might even just be that. I know there are a couple of absurdly simple panels in this area. Uh, this is one of them. So, yeah, it's easy to get distracted by the, the cross pieces from the roof, but avoiding the branches entirely can only be done just by cutting off that, that very small little corner. So, where's that now lit up? Oh, very nearby. That wasn't too bad. And we've still got some roof pieces getting in the way. Basically I need to try and ignore straight lines and work my way around what would be branches. And that's definitely harder than I thought it would be. Where even is the exit on this one? All the way over on the right. Okay. It's not just... It's not over the top, is it? It can't be over the top. Not going to be another simple one, is it? No, it's not. Yeah, okay, so that's definitely branch. Very difficult to discern the difference between the two on this bit. Certainly confident about the first few steps, that's for sure. Less so about the remainder. That felt like it was close. Where even is the tree itself? <laughs> That's going to be uh, several bits. It's going to be very difficult to get the perspective just staring up at it like that, unfortunately. What about... That. No, god damn it. Uh, at, at this point, you're more than welcome to jump in with suggestions of your own because clearly I, I have not rehearsed this to, to know the solutions. I'm just trying to recreate them as best I can. Maybe that needs to come down two more. There, there we go. I'm starting to get worried about that one. <laughs> okay. This is, yeah, another obnoxious one where we've got an obstruction in the way. So it sort of changes the shape. So the first bit's easy enough to see. But unfortunately, if we try tracing the line here, which I've completely overshot there. Then I can't actually come past the physical obstruction as well, but it looks like it goes along another one, up one, and then straight down. Which hopefully is enough to get to the end of the puzzle panel. So, uh, along another one, up one, and straight down. And it is jolly good. I mean, really, come on. It just feels like it'd be a lot easier if I could just move the metal bits out of the way. Obviously, that's not an option. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, so the first move's got to be like that. But I'm struggling to see what the next one would be. Look, looks like that kind of works. I guess it must come down after that. I'm gonna have to get really zoomed in to see this. So in fact it's such a small grid, I think I can probably guess the rest of it as being something like that. Not quite. Maybe I came down too soon. Or not soon enough rather. What about that? There's very few variants it can actually be, surely. How about that? There we go. Slight bit of brute force there. And yet again, somebody stuck a bit of metal in the way. I doubt very much we're going to be able to get both things shown on screen at the same time. Oh, maybe we can. Maybe we can. So, does that now go straight over onto the metal panel? Which would be that kind of shape. Unfortunately, I've cut off the top of it. And is that the exit right there? No. Felt like I had that. So, maybe it's just straight across the top. No. No, it is stepped. Well, that. No. It's down, across. Oh, arse. <laughs> that angle doesn't quite let me draw it. There we are. I feel like I drew that previously, but I obviously didn't. Okay. What's in the way of this one? Oh, there's two possible start points on this particular grid. That's irritating. It does feel like that must be the start point. That's the other one is more in shadow, so that certainly feels like the one. Well, I'm struggling to piece together where it then goes. Well, maybe it's not. The shifting perspective is really very annoying. That feels like it's crossing shadows. I mean, that up to a point, that's not. Unless there's a second item getting in the way of this. Oh, I see. It's just canted the uh, the post off to the side, so. The start point must still be the start point. Which 
case maybe it does that. This could be pen and paper time. Ed, again, do feel free to chime in with suggestions. So maybe it is the right hand side that's the, the start position here. decent representation of this one. Is that it? No, damn it, that felt close. just doing exactly what I did last time might have been where is that it yes oh this is this is high stress having to do this with people watching me <laughs> Okay, so we can see half of that, where's the half we can't see, what's in the way? God's sakes. <laughs> oh, that looks very complicated. <laughs> So let's try just drawing out the half that is on there, very roughly. Okay, maybe it's not super complicated, I don't know, we'll give it a go. So the bit we can see, jolly good, and I think it's one more over, down to back one, down to the bottom, across one, step up, yes, right, so yeah, in theory this section is really quite straightforward, but in practice it's evil, because He's obscured so many of these things, and again, it's a struggle to stand on there <laughs> uh, without blocking the view, and it's sitting across a completely irregular object there. Again, I think I'm resorting to a pen and paper for that one. So. That is ridiculously hard to say. Okay. I think it's got a little 
humped bit goes all the way along to the end and then just kind of sort of steps up the left hand side if I could control my cursor oh there we go yeah not actually too bad a solution but not at all easy to see so where's the power lead going presumably to this panel or maybe not why is this panel not lit up what have I missed oh duh <laughs> if I can't find an entire bloody puzzle panel I'm gonna struggle with the puzzles right so again it's a struggle to actually see it against the background that it is sitting on I'm very much pen and papering this say that goes up from the start Then what does it do? Okay, I have a possible solution there. I think it goes up, across to the left, but not down. All the way up to the top, down a bit. A little step there, and then the last bit has to be all the way across the bottom. Or does it? Maybe it doesn't. There is one possible variation I can do on the end bit there. If it does a little step like that. No, damn it. it. Does look like it does step up, sort of go along the bottom, step over there to get to the exit. So, what am I messing up before that? Up, left, up. down maybe it's maybe it's maybe it's more across the top before it starts coming down again perhaps like that no no oh, god damn it this is such an annoying game at times it's a brilliant game but it is very annoying at times can't do that, can it? No. Like I say, feel free to chime in with suggestions. I'm all ears. Maybe that bit is like that, rather than straight down into the corner. Yes! Oh, yeah, Honestly, I can't tell you the stress that this involves. And another truly annoying layout <laughs> as well. Okay. I'm running out of space on my little scribble pad here. First move looks reasonably straightforward. But then the next bit, oh right, yeah, okay, I see. And 
this one is a naughty one, I think. Okay, let's have a crack at this one. It's very annoying having the, the shift in perspective across the three metal bits. So I think that goes all the way across to the edge and comes back a bit before it steps up and then all the way across to the edge is that it? no damn it where have I gone wrong there? No, that wouldn't work, so that's got to step down again. So the step down must be there. That's Maybe it's not all the way across to the bottom right corner. What about that? No. been so careful with my little drawings and everything. Can't, can't be two up, can it? That doesn't make sense. Definitely steps up somewhere along the way. I, I feel there. Actually, it might, it might even be there. What about that? Aha! Didn't go quite all the way to the left. So yeah, if it's not obvious, I'm trying to do this without using um, internet solutions. It'd obviously be a lot quicker if I did. But <laughs> I'd prefer to, to do them without assistance where possible. If I just manage to backtrack on myself, where does that power line go? Here we are. We've got a puzzle panel that's not lit up. And I'm clearly just stuck on a tree now like an idiot. Okay. Right, I think I think I may have finished half of this puzzle. It is a puzzle of two halves. Yes, it is. That's a very long, snaky cable. So I've opened up one of these two gates. Um, he, uh, and this is the the laser that will fire at the end of the episode, which we must be about halfway through now, since we've done the one half of the puzzles. It is actually possible to solve this final puzzle through the gate without actually having done any of the preceding puzzles. If you know the answer to it. Because you can actually get access to the grid by, by looking through, even if the gates are, are shut. But that feels like cheating. Because it is cheating. Uh, or speed running, depending on your perspective. So let's return to where the puzzle panels were lit up there so we haven't done this one now this one is kind of or this half of the the puzzle run is pretty much the opposite of what we've been doing so far so previously we were avoiding the shadows this time we're following the shadows albeit some artistic license is needed because the the branches aren't necessarily perfect right angles that first one's not too bad though As ever, they're going to get harder. You know they're going to get harder. <laughs> so I'd say that was straight along to there. 
and loop him back all the way across to the end and just flat to come out. It is Yeah, this one is, I think, definitely a bit of artistic license for sure. It's still reasonably traceable, I think. Guess that must be straight to the bottom. Yes, it was. Where does that power line now go? Over here. Right. So it's still following the same principle. Mm, I'd say that is going up a little bit there. Maybe up to there. And across the top like that. No. Like I say, there's a degree of interpretation for some of these. So maybe that would work. No. There we go. Now this one is uh, kind of one of the joke ones because you've got nice big branches to follow. So you think, oh, this this is a piece of piss. And then he's only gone and put a bloody break in the branch. So that doesn't work. And the true solution is really very much easier. So I've overshot. There we go. Like I say, some of them that are just trolls. Where is the next actual panel? Oh, oh that was a, a shorter half. The, the first half was considerably longer than half. So that uh, last one simply opened up the left-hand gate. So should now be more or less able to, to sort this one out. And all we're doing here is the, the same principles that we'd, we've done so far, but it's putting them together. So to start off with, we're avoiding the shadows on the right-hand side. And then on the left hand side, we're then following the shadows. Which looks like that goes across there. So back to avoiding the shadows. Skirt around there. And then it must be up to rejoin that shadow and follow it round to the exit. So boom, there we go. Uh, we should get a trophy. I don't know if it will pop up on the video feed or not. Yep, trophy earned shady trees. Uh, well, I've called it the logging area, and that's that's what the internet told me it should be called when I was looking up the various regions earlier on. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad the second half was easier than the first half. <laughs> first half had a couple of uh, cheeky ones in there, all right. But yeah, so I think that's, yeah, this is episode five, so that's beam number five. That gets us quite a good way to opening up the box on top of the mountain where all the beams converge they they will converge up there it's just a little bit slow to actually fire the laser in the first instance okay so firing through the trees but they are all converging over there at the top of the mountain um, so that is it for the logging area thank you very much for sticking with me I've had one person with me the entire time and a few people ducking in and out um, so um, like I say thanks for your patience I don't remember these puzzles well enough to whip through them I'm sure you must have been going no you idiot not left up or whatever it might have been at any given moment um, so <laughs> 
Uh, apologies if I've sent your blood pressure through the roof with my repeatedly getting puzzles wrong. Um, but yeah, hopefully uh, you'll join me next time either here on Twitch uh, under Baldy Chris 2021 or over on YouTube um, where it's just Baldy Chris. And there's plenty of content um, for both The Witness, uh, Enter the Gungeon, loads of Enter the Gungeon, uh, and Prey, the, the three series I'm working on at the moment. Um, all of them very different games but I'm enjoying them all so uh, hopefully you'll join me for some of them in the future but thanks for watching this one and I'll bring the episode to a close there so take care of yourselves and goodbye <laughs>